Okay, so let's say your friend thought it was funny and he put a passcode on your iPod without you knowing what it was. Okay, so that's cool. So you call him up and ask him, dude, you put a passcode on my iPod. Oh, yeah. Well, what is it? Oh, dude, I can't remember. I was just screwing with you. Right, so now you're out of your iPod, right? Or let's say you're the idiot and you forgot what your new passcode was. Not a problem. What this video is about is about getting around your passcode on your iPod Touch or your iPhone. Now, this process is a long, can be a long one, and it's risky. So make sure to follow the instructions exactly, or you may wind up with all of your personal, with all your personal features. Wet. All right. Switching to my point of view, first thing you're gonna want to do, go ahead, take a jab at it, and see if you can't remember. Oh look, I got it. Up, oh, press hold. Have to redo it. Okay. So if you just flat out can't remember it, step one is to plug in your iPod and connect it to the main computer you used to sync it. Whatever, your laptop, your PC, whatever. So, you know, you'll see your iPod come up. Now we're going to be restoring your iPod, but don't click that restore button. Right there. No, yeah, you. Don't click that restore button. That's right, back away. Because if you click that restore button, it is an option, I'll admit, it is, it is an option. But if you click it, then you will lose, you know, all your personal saved data. If, you, if your email is not like a Gmail or a Yahoo or anything like that, then, you know, all your deleted messages will come back. So you have 400 unread, unread messages. All of the way your apps are organized, that will be deleted and will be arranged in alphabetical order. And it'll really suck, so you're probably not going to want to do that. What you're going to want to do is hold down. Hold on, bear with me. Let me put the camera down. You're going to want to take your iPod. And you're going to want to hold down the home and the home button at the same time. So holding down both buttons with it on. Hold down both buttons. You'll see this come up, keep holding it down. You'll see the screen go blank, keep holding it down. Apple sign will come up. That's when you release the hold button and keep holding down the home button. And then you'll see this icon show up. Uh, arrowhead with iTunes on it, or a plugin with iTunes. But we're already connected to iTunes. So we're good. Now on your computer, you'll see this message come up. Something saying iTunes has detected uh, 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 iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used for the iTunes. Okay. You're going to click restore. And make sure that your security is off. Well, it says enabled right now. If you can see that, that is. It says enabled. But you're gonna want to disable it if you like. If you trying to use iTunes, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi. In other words, if iTunes is working, then you can do this and just hit restore. And once you hit that restore button, everything on your iPod will be wiped, including the passcode, which is what we wanted. Now, don't worry. With all your saved personal data as well, by doing this, with all your li library up. You'll just plug your iPod back in and you'll hit sync. And if there's a password that you enabled on your iPod, a passcode for your computer, then you'll have to enter that. And then you're all set to go. So there you go. So next time your idiot does that, just follow these steps. Now, depending on how many movies and music you have, sync may take a while, but that's alright. You know, as long as you got your iPod, right? So thanks for watching this help movie. Uh, go ahead and request more because I'll be making more if you need any. And so basically here's your behind the studios, behind the studios help video.